Historically, hip hop and police are like oil and water. They don't mix. From the recent headlines regarding police brutality to even older sentiments in hip hop like the late 80s NWA hit Fuck the Police, rap's mistrust of law enforcement is well documented. It stems from the black community's own anger with the boys in blue, something currently on display once again in 2020, as hundreds of thousands of people protest the deaths of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and dozens of other unarmed black Americans at the hands of police. But in this life, some wars we can't avoid. I wrote this today, they killed George Floyd. We won't forget your story. Police repression is a feature and not a bug of the system. It was created to control populations and not to control crime. That's Malika Jabali, a public policy attorney and a journalist. She spoke with Genius about the history of police brutality in America, and we pulled some lyrics to underscore these facts. In the comprehensive textbook on the history of law enforcement, Community Policing, a Contemporary Perspective, the authors explain that modern day police relates partly back to slavery, explaining, quote, the similarities between the slave patrols and modern American policing are too salient to dismiss or ignore. Hence, the slave patrols should be considered a forerunner of modern American law enforcement. Slave patrols are actually considered by scholars to be the forerunner of modern law enforcement. They had the authority to control slave populations to ensure that they wouldn't leave, that they wouldn't escape north, they wouldn't escape off of the plantation. According to Malaika and many other Black scholars, the over-policing of Black bodies is inherent in the system and can often be deadly. A Washington Post study found, quote, unarmed Blacks are still killed by police at a higher rate than unarmed whites. Knowing this, interactions with police can often devolve into tense confrontations. Karis one addressed this on his 1989 cut, Who Protects Us From You? You were put here to protect us, but who protects us from you? NWA famously sent a message on their hit, Fuck the Police, which has since become a modern day protest anthem and even saw a surge on Genius. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back cause I'm brown. And not the other color, so police think they have the authority to kill a minority. For no reason at all, cause you black, you got a little bit of money. And we getting back at that. Beepers, uh, all, all police ain't bad police, just like 90% of them. And Kendrick Lamar put his feelings on wax in the 2015 cut, All Right. And we hate poor poor, when the killer's dead in the street for sure. These aggressive actions from police most often lead to protest. But according to Malaika, the anger of regular abuses without justice can easily lead to unrest. Like if anybody else comes to you and they pester you and they bother you in a number of different ways, you can't always explain what is going to be the tipping point. This pent up frustration is something that has compounded for decades, as rapper 21 Savage noted on his 2017 track, Nothing New. One day it's gonna get to that point where you gonna have to show him Black Lives Matter, you know what I mean? Because shit, the protesting and that shit don't work. As well as Lauren Hill on her 2012 track, Black Rage. Jabali also notes how the current unrest in Minnesota following the death of George Floyd is tied to years of unequal policing from the Minneapolis PD. When you look at the uh, police precinct that burned down, that was the police precinct that George Floyd's killer came from. Those are often the, the targets of rebellions. They usually have some sort of relationship to a series of abuses that these residents have experienced. Another infamous example that served as a poignant moment in hip hop is the 1991 beating of Rodney King at the hands of the LAPD that was caught on video. All of a sudden, police brutality had a human face and it was being battered by Los Angeles cops on a neighborhood street in the San Fernando Valley. After the cops were acquitted in 1992, the anger over a miscarriage of justice led to widespread unrest across Los Angeles, something noted by the late NWA member Eazy-E. A lot of people didn't understand at the time. And then when this Rodney King situation happened, everybody opened their eyes and they said, like, oh, that's why they did the police and they understand now. As well as Tupac on Soldier's story. Cops on my tail, so I bail till I dodge him. They finally pulled me over and I left. Remember Rodney King and I blast on this punk ass. And for many black people, this adverse relation with police is something learned early in life. My first real experience with the police, I was 12 years old. 
They kicked in our door to come grab my dad. Back in March, three plainclothes Louisville police officers stormed Brianna's home, executing a no-knock search warrant. They had pistols at my mama, pistols at everybody in the house. Kenny, thinking intruders were violently breaking in, grabbed his licensed gun and fired a single shot, hitting one officer in the leg. It's basically like kicking the door, hitting the lick, but so they're the police. The officers fired 20 rounds in return killing Brianna. They come in, they up their pistols, and they take what they want. That's illegal, you know, for us to do it. But they the police, so I guess they can do it. But man, fuck to it. I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. Oh my God. I'd rather be carrying my six before I'm just by 12. 12 before I tell, take a 38. I'd rather be carrying my six before I'm just by 12. Even beyond the more recent examples of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, unarmed black people killed at the hands of police remain etched in the memories of many in hip hop. From Michael Brown in 2014 to Sandra Bland in 2015. And even outside of hip hop, Rage Against the Machine's 1992 killing in a name speaks to the inherent racism of policing in America. Some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Sadly, there are hundreds of other examples in both real life and rap music that speak to these experiences. As for Jabali, she's not convinced this current moment can actually bring about change. I generally don't have a lot of hope in this country that this isn't about individual responsibility. This isn't, it isn't about how well you comply with a police officer and then we see that they lie about that too. It's about a system that is failing everybody. I find it crazy the police to shoot you and know that you did but still tell you to freeze. Fucked up, I seen what I seen. I guess that mean hold him down if you say you can't breathe. So for now, all we can do is fight for what's right and hope for change. As musicians continue to amplify the voices of those who need it the most. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off. Yeah. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music from home. Peace. Thank you.